Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby. Patch 9.7 was just released on the European server today. I appreciate that it has been out on the North American server for quite a while because it has been the grand finals this weekend and I just got back from Warsaw, Poland. Nevertheless, I'm still getting you my 9.7 mod pack on the first day that it's released on the European server. This video is going to show you how to install it, how to customize it, as well as highlighting the features that might be useful for you. So firstly, you want to download the zip file in the description below. It has my mod pack inside it. You will have three folders, 0.9.7, the configs folder, and the mods folder. Then you must navigate to your world of tanks folder. Mine is inside program files. Open up your res mods folder, and then copy paste these three folders from the zip file into your res mods folder. Next, if you want to use the statistics in this mod pack, then you need to activate it every two weeks on the XVM website. To do this, you have to sign in using whatever region you play on. You will see your user account name up here. It'll be your World of Tanks account, and you have to activate your statistics and also click update as well. Next, if you want to see your win ratio in game, you can activate it here by checking these boxes. So if you have done all this correctly, as you load in, you will get a notification telling you if your XVM is active and the days remaining. If you like it, you can simply go and repeat this process on the XVM website and do it infinite times. XVM have improved the statistics inside the service record this time round. There is a per vehicle efficiency inside your service record as an addition to the regular stats. This will let you know the tanks that you play best in with XX being top and then scaling down all the way to the tanks that you play worst in. Also, there's an extra very useful filter down at the bottom so you can order the tanks by their tier. So if you quickly want to find a tier 7 tank that is also a medium to match up with your buddies, then you can find them very quickly. There are also a few extra funky options. You can find non-elite tanks, premium vehicles, tanks which have still got multiple experience multipliers left over on them, or tanks which you are still needing to get your ace tanker in. As you load into the game, you will have a variety of statistics at your disposal. You will have the number of games that each player has played, their WN8 rating, which gives you an indication of how strong of a player they are, as well as their total win ratio on the account. That's not tank specific, that's their overall data. Also at the top, we can see your chance to win that game. And remember, that's just an indication based on the WN8 of each team. There are a couple of useful tools for you on the minimap. We can see this cyan circle. This is the maximum spotting distance that is possible in the game of 445 meters. As I'm playing on Ents, this is a very small map, so it's hard to see, but this white square is 500 meters away from your vehicle, and that is the maximum rendering distance in the game. Outside of 500 meters, they physically won't appear on your screen, but that still doesn't mean that you can't shoot them. So do have a go if you think you still know where the enemy are. XVM also uses custom minimap icons, which I feel are clearer than the standard vanilla ones. This can help you remember where the enemy was last spotted, but the last few patches that has been in the game as standard, I just feel that XVM does it slightly better. Also, in this version of the mod pack, you do have custom spotting icons available near the enemy team list. A yellow light bulb indicates that the enemy is currently spotted, and a grey light bulb indicates the enemy has been previously spotted, but is not currently visible by anyone on your team. What this helps you to do is to quickly distinguish between that tiger that was initially spotted here, the tiger that is currently spotted here, or the tiger that has not been spotted at all yet. One of my favorite features of the mod pack is a hit log that you can see near the top left hand corner of the screen. As you put rounds into your enemies, it records the total damage that you've done in the battle. This can be very useful if you're trying to hit specific targets of damage, or maybe you're just trying to get closer to that mastery badge that is eluding you. Apart from that, this mod pack will also allow you to zoom out further, but I clarify it has no changes to your sniper mode. Do be careful about mod packs that adjust how your sniper mode work, as the legitimacy is up for argument across a variety of servers. And so that is my 9.7 XVM mod pack. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I like to keep my screen as clean as possible because clutter is confusing. I've done the hard work, so you don't have to. I'd really appreciate it if you give this video a like down below. 
And I wish you all the best in your adventures in patch 9.7. Personally, I'm really looking forward to playing the two new French medium tanks tonight, as well as testing out a couple of the premium vehicles that came in this patch. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic, and hopefully I'll see you soon.